Welcome back to episode three of Legs. All right, to reiterate again, these are exercises that you can pick and choose to take from these workouts and implement them into your own workouts. Uh, and I'll be voicing over them so you can maximize every single exercise so that you get the uh, advice form and the techniques that you can uh, to actually maximize every single workout uh, or exercise if you pick and choose the exercises uh, within my routine I'm doing. All right, so you can either do the whole routine I do now or pick and choose and implement them into your own workouts. Uh, it doesn't matter how many days you do, one day, two day, three day, even four or five day splits. Uh, you do what you want, just take the advice form and technique out of it to maximize every workout. All right, let's get stuck into the gym. All righty, starting off with front squats again. We did do this on episode two, but I just want to quickly take you over uh, some more form tips just to make sure that we got it down pat. Now, always remember something I forgot in the last video. I want to make you concentrate on your knees, tracing your toes. This is highly important. In terms of your feet position, this is totally going to come down to the way uh, your hips and knees come together. Everybody is different, so you may even be comfortable spreading your feet out nice and wide or more narrow. Uh, it's something you've got to be really mindful of and just play it by ear. Also as well guys, make sure you keep that belly button sucked into your spine, everything nice and neutral. I'm going probably down a little bit too fast here, but when you're starting off, just take it nice and slow. Two to three seconds down, two to three seconds up. Nice big squeeze at the top. Alright, over to straight leg deadlifts. So with this one, you want to keep your chin nice and tucked in, so your uh, C vertebrae is really close and neutral. Try to keep your belly button sucked into your spine. So essentially your entire spine is as straight as you can be. Keeping your knees relatively straight. Taking your time with this one as well. I'm probably going a little bit quick because it's my second set. Uh, but go about two to three seconds down, two to three seconds up. Just make sure you get a nice big stretch in the hamstrings before you go back up again. You can actually pause at the bottom just to make sure or emphasize that stretch and then come back up for a nice big squeeze in the glutes and hamstrings. Uh, really make sure that uh, belly button sucked into your spine and your spine's nice and straight. All right, so worst case, you got your back rounded in. All right, is going to be a lot better than rounded out. Just make sure it's straight. Highly important. Always keep the weight above your heels as well. Okay, going over to barbell jump squats. If you are comfortable with doing squats with a barbell on your back and you are comfortable with doing jump squats in general, even with your hands up like I have them here, then try the bar out, start nice and light. Uh, exact same thing, just transition a little more. Here's one of my trainers moving the sled out for me because she thought I was cheating, I wasn't using the full length of the uh, green area. Uh, what I'm doing here is just a jump, uh, going from weight to no weight, all right? So technically like just a drop set. All right. Over to my leg extension machine, but I'm actually going to use it as a leg curl. So you're not supposed to be doing this, but you know, if you had a hammer, try this out. If you're not, and you got a machine like this, it's always good to uh, change things up and make do with machines at the gym. Freestyle however you want. So all I'm doing is making sure the top of my knee is nice and supported. And then just as usual, as if I was laying down on a leg curl machine, just picking that heel up towards my glute. Uh, my hamstrings are for some reason absolutely gassed and I can't even get it any further than that but they are burning, they are on fire. If you can get it up any further even better, I think it's the position of where my knee is as well. But as long as you get that thing burning, all good. As Arnie says, if it burns it grows. Just keep everything nice and straight and again, as much as your spine doesn't look like it's involved, really do try to keep that belly button sucked into your spine. Uh, keep it back nice and straight. Uh, last but not least, Nice and simple one, really sedentary kind of exercise, just leg press carb raises. All right, having the front balls of your toes right on the edge of either the platform, or if there's anything else on the, the platform apparatus, like where I'm going here, this is really comfy for me. All right, so I'm just pushing up, making sure when it comes down, I'm getting a nice big stretch happening. Uh, sometimes I like to unlock my knees, it feels a little bit different to having your knees locked in, so totally up to you, but uh, as long as your knees don't uh, flex back or anything, you'll be fine. All right, so the idea, two seconds up, two seconds down, just make sure you get a nice big stretch, then at the top, big squeeze. Really try to 
try to push it as far as you can, get the maximal contraction as you can at the peak of the exercise, just to maximize every single rep. And as soon as you start feeling like you're fatiguing, then just speed it up. That's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the workout. If you want it, here it is. I'd advise just screenshotting it and have fun. Bye.